Apparently, people are leaving Twitter. Good, I thought. I've been saying this for years. Just get off of Twitter and it's one more step to... Oh, they've all just moved to a new app. Well, at least Mastodon can have its day, you know. Open source alternatives need a... Oh, it's not Mastodon. What is it, then? Ah, oh, it's literally... Just a Twitter clone. At least it's open source, I guess. Over the last 20 years of social media, have we honestly learnt nothing? Newsflash, if all you're going to do is to hop from one social media app to another social media app with the exact same feature set, you are going to have the exact same issues. They might just materialise a little bit later. The most vocal of Twitter fans were there for the engagement, for the drama, for the conflict. It wasn't exactly a productive place to begin with. So I think there are probably three ways that this is going to play out. Number one, people who left for Blue Sky are just going to get bored because they miss fighting with random strangers on Twitter, and then they're just going to go straight back. Number two, Blue Sky will grow to the point where it will just become Twitter. The exact same issues, the exact same people, and it will just all happen again. Or number three, Blue Sky will only gain users from the one demographic that they are really currently getting a lot of support from, the mid far left in the US political divide, and they will just stay there in a very echoey bubble, never being exposed to any other opinion other than their own. Now I suppose it's always possible that Blue Sky will grow to become a thriving platform, but I doubt it. We're either going to get Twitter 2.0, or Tumblr 2.0, but with Twitter's interface. And the problem is those things already exist. They're called Twitter and Tumblr. The only good thing I can see coming from this whole debacle is that the vocabulary of decentralized or federated internet is going to become a little more mainstream. Perhaps people will start to question exactly why they are relying on these massive companies that steal all your private information, rather than just using the free and open alternatives that are already there. Ultimately, I won't be joining Blue Sky for the exact same reason I don't use either Twitter or Mastodon. It's basically a useless app for me. I don't need to know what companies or celebrities are trying to push every minute of the day. I don't need Billy Bob's reaction to breaking news in real time. And I don't need yet another endless stream of garbage to scroll through, wasting even more of my time. Now, I'm not going to be one of those channels that just tells you to use it in moderation or log out when you need to take a break, because I think that's just silly. No, just, just get rid of them. You don't need them, they're a waste of your time and mental energy. What you should do instead is to separate the media from the social. If you need to keep up with certain companies or news sources, then just download an open source RSS reader app. You can curate your media feed from there and it will keep you way more informed than social media simply because there's no votes, there's no comments, there's no ads. And finally, keep only the social apps that you really need. I would always advocate for open source alternatives like Signal and Matrix, but if your family still uses Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, what are you going to do? At least they're supposedly end-to-end -end encrypted, so hopefully somewhat secure, but I still wouldn't trust them with anything sensitive, of course. But hey, you do you. And for most people, convenience really is king. So, once again, thank you for your time, and see you soon.